In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Distant Horizons for Minecraft Java version 1.21.8. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do here is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but here, just go to your search bar and search up ModWinf like so. Now enter, and now you'll find ModWinf.com, just click on the link, and this will bring you to the modern homepage. So from there, just go to the top of the website to discover content, and now go down to mods. Here, just go to search mods, and search up distant horizons, like so. Here, you'll find the distant horizons mod here, which is right here. Just click on the name, and this will bring you to the distant horizons homepage on Modwinf. So from there, just go to versions, and now, go to game versions, and choose 1.21.8. Here, you have the download for your version. So, here, as it is always for Fabric and Neoforge, in this case, for the newer versions, you'll be fine. So here, just make sure it is for Fabric, and if it is, go to the green download button right here. And now, you are downloading Distant Horizons. As this is for Fabric or Neoforge, you can use one of the two loaders, although we'll be using Fabric for today's tutorial. So to get yourself Fabric 1.21.8, you need to go to a new tab, and then you need to go to your search bar, and then you need to go ahead and search up for Fabric Minecraft. Like so here, enter this, and here you'll go ahead and find that we have FabricMC.net. This is the website, I have this in the description as well. So just go ahead and click on the link for that. Okay, so from there, just go ahead and go to the blue download button. And now, go to the download for Windows button right here. And now we have Fabric Installer. So once you have these two files here, you can go ahead and minimize or close your web browser. I'll close mine. And now you can go to your file explorer, like this, to access your downloads folder. Here, you should see Fabric Installer and Distant Horizons, so the first thing you want to do is double-click Fabric Installer. This will show up with a window like this. Here you can choose the Minecraft version like this. We want 1.21.8. This should be selected by default for now. So just go ahead and click Install once everything is set up correctly. And do OK. And close the installer. Here you're done with Fabric. So now, you simply need to go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. So, with the Minecraft Launcher here, you'll be able to see that we have a Fabric instance, like this, Fabric Loader, and we need to add the mod. We actually need to do two things. Add the mod, so Distant Horizons, and we also need to go ahead and change the RAM amount. But first of all, the mod. So to add the mod, you want to go to Installations here on the top, you want to hover over Fabric Loader, and go to the folder icon. Now, you will find a mods folder here, double click on it, and once you're here, go to downloads, select Distant Horizons and copy. Now go to the top left arrow here, now this is just a shortcut to go back to the previous folder, so in this case it's back to mods. You want to be on this folder here, .micmods, and once you are, just click on the paste button, and this will just paste Distant Horizons. This is step one done, okay? So now you can just go ahead and go back to the Minecraft launcher like this. And technically you're done, but if you want to have better performance, you can hover over Fabric Loader again, and go to the three dots here. Now go to Edit, and now go to More Options, and here you see that we have JVM Arguments. So this is very simple. Uh, this comes with 2 gigabytes of RAM by default, which is, you know, it will work, but if you can, you can add more gigabytes. So this is in gigabytes here, so you can just go ahead and go to the 2 here. You can remove the 2 and add like 4 gigabytes, 6 gigabytes, 8 and so on, right? So for this mod, 6 is good, 8 is better. So I'll just take 6 in this case, but you can choose what you want. So here, just unselect this, it should say 6G. And once it says this, do save right here. It should be a save button, click this. And now you have the mod and more gigabytes allocated to Minecraft. Of course, if you have more gigabytes on your computer to do this in the first place. But if you do, what you can do is go back to play, 
you can go to fabric loader here and simply make sure to click the play button of course it will tell you to click i understand the risks now you don't have to but you can do this do not have this pop up again and then you can go to play and now you simply have to wait for minecraft to open up so you have to download all the files and everything and once it does this you'll be able to have minecraft open up automatically like in a couple seconds like so and then you'll be able to go ahead and mess with the settings of this device so yeah in this case let's just wait for minecraft to open up it shouldn't take that long and then we'll be able to go ahead and actually try the mod live so yeah let's just wait for minecraft like so and i'll make this a bit bigger and now to use the mod what you can do is simply go to single player here and you can also go to multiplayer but this is something else it's with servers and mod or servers it's pretty weird this one but in this case we just want to go to single player as you'll be using this most likely in single player for like videos or renders or screenshots or anything so you'll be most likely using single player in this case okay so here you can select one of your worlds but i'll just make a new one here just so all the chunks load up and everything live i'll give myself creative mode so i can fly around and remember we do have six gigabytes of ram to our instance i'll show you this working like this so if we go to our f3 here so here we see that we have our gigabytes we have six gigabytes here or six thousand megabytes so that is one thing about this so we'll just do f3 again and there you go so now what this is currently doing it's loading up all the chunks H here it is it's loading all the chunks it's telling you how much chunks is being loaded right now it's like 400,000 and the ETA is just how much time it will take to load all the chunks as you can see this is not normal Minecraft chunk generation so this is already outside of my normal view distance but yeah more you go up longer it will take and this is it really depends on what computer you have and how much gigabytes you give to the actual mod but over time it will just go ahead and just load up a plenty of chunks so this is the first thing here but you can also change settings with this in horizons so if we go ahead and go to escape here we go to options and here we have some distance horizon settings here and this is all the settings here so for example we have the classic settings here which is just how much chunks we want how much cpu loads we want the quality of the chunks and this is all the rendered chunks here rendering this is what's doing the first actual rendering in the first place and of course we have advanced options here so here we have a bunch of options here so for example if we go to like graphics here we have different graphics options you can change and this is a bit advanced from just normal render but if you want to play with this you can here you have multi-threading if you want you can add more threads if you want that's pretty cool so this is eight here we have auto updater we have debug in this case so here we have all the settings you want to change with debugging if you want to see the issues or not but in most cases you will just go ahead and not touch most of these except to add more chunks if you really want to so yeah that is kind of the idea of all of this so yeah there's a bunch of things you can go ahead and play with if you want so yeah here it is just saying that it is loading chunks if we do f1 if this of course was given all its time so two hours of rendering we'll be able to see that we have an amazing looking game like this so yeah that is the idea here and more we let it load bigger the world gets and yeah so for example if you're here you take a screenshot you'll have an amazing looking screenshot especially if you add shapes and stuff like this so yeah that is how we download and install this into the buttons for minecraft java 1.21.8 so if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye